Hello. Oh, hello, Roger. Yes. Hey, Roger. It's Cody with the Condo Association. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm just calling to kind of get to the bottom of this whole uh, thing you've been doing with leaving the jars over there on Marge's doorstep. Uh, go, go, you know where. Stick it, baby. Stick it. Hey, it's another. Hey, it's another. Hey, it's another. Brain call show. That's right. Here's your host, Kay Archer. Hey everyone, it's Richard. No, I'm not having a stroke. I know I just did a show a few days ago, but if you don't mind, I wanted to do one more for you to make up a bit for the hiatus. So this is episode 47 for January 19th, 2022. I'm in kind of a hurry to get back to doing boner sodes for my supporters before they riot, so I'm dispensing with voicemails, Patreon stuff, and the usual blabbering on and on. So away we go. Hello. Oh, hello, Bernice. Yes. Hey, Bernice, it's Sleeve with the Condo Association. Yes. Yeah, hey, uh, I'm just calling on behalf of Roger. He was he was complaining about uh, how you've been leaving jars on his doorstep. He was just kind of upset, and he, I'm, just, I'm just calling to ask if he'd just please not do that anymore. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you know, Roger, just a little ways down the road from you, he was, he, he's just a little upset about you leaving those jars of urine on his doorstep. It's just, you know, it's just I not. Don't, you've got the wrong person. I live on, um, court, yeah, so and does, I don't know of anybody named Roger close by. Well, he showed us the f security footage, and, you know, it was definitely you. You were, you snuck over there late, and you left that jar of urine with a little note card on it and everything. I mean, it, it's I fine. Don't I don't think so. I don't know who you're talking about, but oh, it wasn't Bernice. us because. Bernice. Well, Bernice, I saw the I, I saw the footage. It was I, it was this definitely is ridiculous. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, no, ma'am, you don't need to be embarrassed. Like you're not in trouble. It's just like no, if I'm if not be embarrassed. I I you're just talking to. Hang on a minute. I live at. Yeah, yeah, we know. And you know, if okay. you if if you're in if you're Have in, you seen me on footage. Yeah, and if you got to be kidding. well, no, I saw it. It was definitely you. And look, if you're in therapy, is something that you believe in, that's totally fine. I'm not trying to judge your your no, beliefs. No, no, but no, no. Wait a minute. You just can't be. I, I'm, I've got problem. I walk around with a cane. I don't walk anywhere because I, I'm dependent on a cane. So I don't I, know who you're. You're. Hang on. Let me put. You talk to my husband. Yeah. What? This guy's telling me that I put bottles of urine on his front porch and I wrote out with him. Who is this? Oh, hello, Tom? Hello. Yeah, hey, Tom, it's Sleeve. Um, I, I didn't say that she left the jar Ooh. on my... I didn't say that she left the jar on my step. I was just calling on behalf of Roger because Roger was kind of upset about it. And so I was just calling... Who's call Roger? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Who's Roger? Hey, one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead, Tom. Yeah, who's Roger? Uh, he's just a few doors down from you over there on court. He was complaining about Bernice, uh, you know, how she's been setting those jars of urine on his doorstep, trying to... Trying oh, to... you got to be kidding. Where would I get a jar of urine? And you got to be crazy, what? right? And I'd like to see that footage. Well, I'd like to see that guy uh, come over. I'll kick his ass. Oh, no, you can't no, kick... No, this is an insult. No, no don't you kick... you got to be crazy. You know, you keep it up, I'll call the cops. No, Tom, it's not... No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's You're not... insulting me and my wife. No, I, I'm just asking you not to leave jars of urine on Roger's doorstep. No, I'm not insulting no, you. No, you can't ask that. We don't do that. And I'm not in any... You go to hell. Hey, you, know, I... you come over to the house here, and I'll tell you what the hell I... T what they think of you, what you're talking about. Well, no, you'll probably kick my ass. I don't want that. No, we won't. But I'd like no. to see some footage that shows me walking around. I'm crippled, and how am I going to walk on somebody's front lawn well, no. Well, no. laying bottles of urine? And where am I going to get the urine from? And what well, the hell are you talking about? Well, I assume it's your uh, urine. Or, 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 let's call a police. No, it's not uh, a police matter. A police. We're, just, we're just asking you nicely, Tom. That's all. That's all we want. You're not asking nicely. You're accusing, and I don't know who in hell you're accusing. But, but I want to see that footage I'm because being, it sure as heck isn't me. I'm, I'm being as polite as I can. 
Look, if you believe well, I'm in... trying to be polite to you, but you're making him. <laughs> you can't... Hello. Hello, Tom. It's Sleeve again. Please don't kick my ass, but I just need to ask nicely if you would please stop spreading your pee all over the neighborhood. Don't say that. Don't say that goddamn thing. Who the hell you think you're talking to? I'm... This is an insult. Hello. Hello, Sherry. Yes. Hi, Sherry. It's Cody with the Condo Association. Yeah? Yeah, hey, I just needed to let you know there's going to be a crew coming by your house tomorrow morning. Uh, they're just going to be kind of just doing a little redress of the interior. So what? See, here's the thing. We're, we've are we got some prospective buyers coming later this week, and we're going to be using your condo as the model. No. Uh, but, yeah. My husband's working from home. Oh, yeah, no. that's okay. They'll just work around them. They don't really have to... No, you're not coming in my home. Well, no, I won't be. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, Vince wanted me to just kind of coordinate with you on this because, you know, they're going to be there at about 10 o'clock. They're just going to be. Nobody you know, is coming in my home. Well, yeah. I did not agree to that. I am not selling my home, and I, I don't oh, no, know I why. Didn't. No, that, see, I think there's nope. just a misunderstanding here. I, we know that you're not selling it, but we're using yours as the model. Mm, and I said some, no. I did not agree to that. Well, you, you can't. It, it's not really up to you, though. It's. Yes, it's my home. I own this home. I just don't understand why you're yelling at me. I'm I'm just the, the middleman here. I'm just letting you know they're just going to be swapping out some night. It'll be kind of nice because like you'll have nicer furniture for a few days. No, absolutely not. Sherry, you need to relax. No, it's, it's not that no big I don't know who you people think you are, but you are not doing that to my condo. No, it's what? not. I own my condo. What do you mean you people? That was kind of that's kind of derogatory. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, no, I just management or whatever you think you are i own this condo you well, are know. not coming in here well i know who i am it's okay not... and my owners my homeowners association is not allowed to dictate that on there oh yeah yeah it's right to me it's right no, there no it is not no it falls... they absolutely cannot sherry. dictate that i have sherry. to let people in my home sherry. You need it to... is not in my rules or regulations sherry. you need to you need to just know your place sherry you don't understand how things work around here don't be trying to quote rules and regulations to me I'm I'm calling and, the police, uh, well, it's and not, you will not be allowed in here. Do you understand? I'm me? not coming over, Sherry. I'm just letting you know. Like, Nobody will quit, be coming in my home. Quit, quit putting the I'm blame. I'm letting you know. Quit putting the blame. Oh well, it's definitely happening. Like Vince already no. made the decision. The, no, the, I am calling Vince now. Hello. Uh, hello, Brad. Yeah. Hey, Brad. It's Cody with T-Mobile. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I just needed to let you know about a little change that we're making to your phone line. Uh, it's going to be going into effect tomorrow morning. Okay. We're going to be adding a trigger warning onto your line. It's just a little recording that plays for anyone that calls you. What is it? It's a recording that plays when somebody calls me? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a little warning, just letting them know that having a conversation with you may lead to them being triggered. Do you, do you know anything about this? T-Mobile changing or some kind of trigger on my phone? Are you talking to me? Or? On, on this, I was talking to my wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her just nosing her way into the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nosy woman. Huh? Nosy woman? You call my wife a nosy woman? Well, no, she just seemed like she kind of inserted herself. A anyways, I'm just letting you know about the change. That's all. It's not really any, any kind of disruption to your service or anything. Hey, explain this to my wife. Why? Hello? Uh, hello, Michelle? Yeah. Oh, hi, honey. It's Cody with T-Mobile. Uh-huh. Where did Brad go? Oh, he's still here. He just, I usually take care of the phone stuff. Oh, and... oh I see. Okay, I got you. Yeah. yeah. Idiot husbands. What's hi, I know. I know. I know what you mean. Anyway, yeah, I was just trying to let him know about the little change that we're making to your phone line. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's uh, it's just a little trigger warning recording that's going to play um, just anytime anyone calls this number. Why would they have to have a trigger warning? Oh, that, yeah. It's, well, it's just based off of some of the incendiary and, you know, just controversial statements that Brad makes. You know, we've been monitoring the line for a while, and, yeah, just for legal. <laughs> just for legal. Are you okay? Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm fine. Whose friend are you? Who's fr I'm not anyone's friend. I'm, I'm with T-Mobile. I'm just letting you know about the little change. And the change is what? I already explained all that. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you need me to repeat it or something? Yeah, I'm stupid. Can you repeat it? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, can you just put the man back on, honey? Somebody that understands technology? <laughs> put the man back on so can understand. 
The man's stupid too. Oh boy, oh boy. Is there like a like a younger person there, like a kid that would understand technology? A kid. Yeah, kids understand technology way better, but I don't have any kids here either. Yeah, I yeah can, that's probably a I good thing. I can tape it, though. You don't want to be... So we can listen to it, like, over and over You don't want to be passing off, passing on those idiot genes. I know. Yes, idiot genes. We have yep. idiot genes in our family, for yep. sure. Yeah, you got to just get yourself sterilized. I know. That's what I told my husband. He wouldn't listen. Anyways. How many roosters do we need? Do you yeah. know? Oh, I have no idea, stupid. Anyways, I'm going to let you go now. I just, I think I've done my job here. You're fully alerted to the trigger warning that's being added to your line. And if there's we no... You're alerted. And if there's no further questions, I'll just move on to the next dumb customer. That would be perfect. And tell that brat Thank of you yours... for making my night. And tell that brat of yours to shut the fuck up. I need chicken. I want chicken. I tell him every night. I what? tell him that every night. He won't listen. What is I he, need chicken. What is he saying about chickens? He wants chickens too. So oh. Can you help us? Oh, no. Do you have like a directory assistant? You could give us a number for chickens. Uh, no, that's not my goddamn job. I ain't your fucking secretary. Is that how T-Mobile tells you to talk to your customers? Uh, no, but that's how I talk to my customers. Anyway, I'm going to go now. It's been very nice talking to you. <laughs> Bye. Hello? Uh, hello, Dan? Yes. Hey, Dan, it's Richard with the Condo Association. Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, hey, Vince just wanted me to call and just get to the bottom of this whole flyer thing that you've been doing around the neighborhood lately. No, I have not. I haven't. <laughs> I have. I am not doing any flyers. Uh, well, they have your name on them. What does it say? Well, it's it's advertising that that urine therapy thing. Like, I, I don't know. I don't want to judge your beliefs or anything, but it's just you know we don't have any problems with whatever you're doing in your own home. But you just can't be you know that's basically solicitation. It's just kind of we're getting some complaints from some of the other residents you're about. You're full it. of shit. Well, Get no, the I'm just fuck off the phone. You're just spreading your weird beliefs around the neighborhood about urine I therapy have no or whatever weird it is. Beliefs. I'm not doing any. I'm on. I'm in fucking Indiana. Okay, look, you need to watch your language, Dan. That's another. That's another you know thing that we need to address. Can't be cursing. It's against the rules in the neighborhood. Who, who is this? And you're just being a big, you're just being a big poopy face about the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing in Arizona? I didn't say Arizona. I said Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Whatever. Same thing. I work in Indiana. Same shitty. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. If give you have them a job, then what are you? I'm gonna call. Them. What are you doing trying to convert people to your weird urine therapy beliefs? I have no belief. I have no motivation to convert anybody. The only thing I'm trying to convert people to do is wear life jackets when they're out on the water. How's that? Oh, quit being such a, a mother hen. Let people do what they want. If they want to drown, that's their right. This is America, yeah, baby. Well, yeah. Um, I think you got the wrong guy, dude. I'm uh, sorry. I ain't your dude, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, oh, you're the one that's calling me. I'm not the one calling you. Well, yeah, I know, but so, I was just trying to just reason with you. We're two adults here, and you're over there just trying to get everyone to start drinking their own I urine think, or whatever, like a freak. I think, I think, I think Vince set you up or something. Uh, okay, yeah, you're right. Vince wanted me to call you and just just mess around with you. <laughs> he's like, call Dan because he's such a gullible idiot. Call Dan and tell him to quit <laughs> peeing all over the neighborhood. <laughs> and I was like, nobody's gonna fall for that. <laughs> He's probably just gonna start laughing like a lunatic because that's how Dan is. <laughs> All right. So, what's your name? <laughs> what? Oh, my name's Richard. How do you know Vince? Uh, we go way back. Me and Vince, you know, we served together. Well, he's a good guy. I like Vince a lot. Yeah, so. me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But he said, he said that you're just like a big dummy and you would just, you know, you'd get all angry about it and everything. It'd be funny. <laughs> and then we can, we can record the call and put it on YouTube or something. Yeah, right. Yep. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to turn you into an internet celebrity. Oh, great. There we go. Yep. All right. It's going to be, well, a you have, fun. you have a, fun with that. It's going to be a TikTok video. Said hi. Oh yeah, I will. All right. I'll tell him that you said that you love him. Okay. Thank you. Take care, Bye. Dan. Bye. Bye. Hello. Uh, hello. Is Glenn available? No, he isn't.
Well, this is Richard. I'm calling with the phone company. Uh, this is Candy, but this is my cell phone number. Oh, okay. So you're the one that uses the phone. Well, yeah, all right. Then I can talk right. to you. Then I can talk to you. Yeah, I just needed to let you know then about the little change that we're making to the line. Okay, what would that be? Oh, we're just going to be adding a little disclaimer onto the top of it. So basically what that means is when people call you, there's going to be a little recording that plays before it rings through. Uh, what does dis the disclaimer say? Oh, it's just a standard medical misinformation warning. Uh, is this starting with everybody's phone or just mine? Uh, well, no, it doesn't apply to everyone. It's just for people to spread medical misinformation. We're just required, you know, by well, the... I don't spread medical misinformation, so why would that be attached to my phone? Oh, well, I mean, according to our automated system, it, it picked up on something that you said. Well, I don't think I like that. I think that's an invasion of my privacy. Oh, nobody's listening to your conversations. It's just a... It's well, just apparently a... you are. Somebody is if they think I have said something inappropriate medically. Well, no, it's just, it's an automated system. Think of it as like an artificial intelligence. It just listens and scans for keywords. And then if you say something that's on the on the no-no list, then we have to add the disclaimer on there. It's just a little 10-second recording. It just warns anyone that calls you that they may receive medical misinformation from you. Well, I don't want that. Is there any way I can not have that? Uh, well, it gets reviewed every six months. So as long as you don't spread any more medical misinformation, then you'll be fine and it'll be taken I off. Have spread any medical misinformation. Well, now, I mean, there's something wrong here with this, and I don't like it. I, now, I don't know who I need to talk to, but you need to get somebody in touch with me because this is not appropriate with me, and well, I no. haven't done anything wrong, well, no, I'm and not I saying, don't want this on my phone. Well, no, I, I didn't say that you did anything wrong, ma'am. It's just something that, you of know, the course, Biden... Yes, and, you did, well, or no. I would not have picked something up well, no, and, I, and I put never... this disclaimer on it. I don't want it. Well, so I, I don't know what it is I've got to do t to get this not to go through. That's an invasion of my all you privacy. Have, all you have to do is just not spread medical misinformation for six months and then I it'll be removed. I don't spread it, so don't put the disclaimer on there. Well, it's already on there, ma'am. It's going into effect tomorrow morning. There's there's really nothing. What is your name? and your? I want, I want your name and whoever it is you uh, answer to. Uh, my name is Richard, and I answer to the Lord Almighty. Uh, well, we all do, and I hope you do, Richard. What is your full name? Uh, Richard Bobson Sleeve McDichael. Oh, really? The third. Okay, uh, and and who is your employer? Esquire. Uh, that would be AT and T. AT and T. Correct. All right. What number do I have to to get in touch with them about this? Well, I mean, that's who you're speaking to right now, ma'am. I can answer any questions you have about it, but there's there's no way around it. We're required to do this by the Biden administration. By the Biden administration. That is so full of shit. Ma'am. I tell you what. That's exactly it, why you, that's that's why you're getting the disclaimer because you make statements no, like that. No, it isn't. I have this is an invasion of my privacy. Well no, it's and just I an, don't like it one damn bit. Well you don't have and to I, like I, it. I, want, you don't have I don't care. Just tell me who I need to call. Just uh, give me a number. Two. Okay. Two. Two what? You asked me to give you a number, so I just I just gave you one at random. You're, you are, this is, this is all a phony bunch of crap, and I don't know well, who you're you a, are, and you're I don't a, know. You're a phony bunch of crap spreading medical misinformation. That's why you're getting the disclaimer. I want to know who I can telling, talk to telling people that, all kinds that, of, ahead of you. Telling people all kinds of crackpot theories and everything. That's why. I just don't do that. You are an idiot, man. What? You are an absolute idiot. Well, no. If you put anything on my phone, I'm going to sue at and I'm not the one spreading medical misinformation. Just quit being... Literally. You know, this is the silliest thing I have well, that's ever just, heard. This well, that's is just, an invasion of my privacy. Well, that's you just your dumb. the information that I need. Well, that's just a, your dumb. I'm calling, the, I'm calling whoever it is I can to, to complain about you. Who are you going to call? I'm going to call the number back. And if I don't get a number, then I know you're just, this is full of malarkey. Uh, I don't know who you oh, are you're or why you're even doing this. No, you're you full. You are ridiculous. You're full of malarkey. So, goodbye. Ma'am. Hello? Uh, hello, Candy. It's Richard again with the phone yes, company. you got me again, buddy. Yeah, oh, well, I'm not your buddy. Not the way you just... No, you're not. Not the way you just flipped down on me and hung up. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to call well, no, whoever just, it is. Well, no, I just needed to let you know there was a, there was a little glitch in the system, and it was, it was just a mistake. It was just a mistake. Yeah, we're not adding a disclaimer under your line. So sorry about that. 
what we're actually doing. Oh, thank you very much what, for your call back. Well, no, I just need Goodbye. to let you know what we're actually doing. Yeah, you were just on the wrong list. What are you actually doing? Uh, we're just we're, we're going to be changing your phone number. That's what I was supposed to let you know about. You're not going to change my phone number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roy, uh, my boss, Roy, he told me to let you know that we're changing your phone number effective tomorrow. You let me talk to Roy right now. Oh, I want to talk to Roy. He, he's got COVID, so he can't he can't speak right now. He's, he's I don't care. You cannot be, just change well, that's my mean. phone number. You don't care that he's got COVID? Hello? Hello, Janet? Yes? Hey, Janet. It's Richard with the Condo Association. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, uh, Vince just wanted me to call and get to the bottom of this whole thing that you've been doing over at the pond. Um, just, you know, we've had some complaints about it lately, and we're kind of hoping you could just not do that anymore. I don't live anywhere near the pond. I'm across the street. Oh, I know, but you've been walking over there, and it's just it's just kind of... I've been walking over where? Over to the pond. Over no, the... I have not. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have. We got, we got you on the security cameras in the neighborhood and everything. Look, you're not in trouble. It's just some of the residents are complaining about it because it's kind of a... I don't walk over by the pond. I take the back in the back of my condo from uh, the mailbox, but I don't walk over by the pond. Oh, no, yeah, you've been doing it. You've been doing it almost on a daily basis lately, and it's just kind of... No! Yeah. I haven't been out of the house for uh, Oh yeah. probably four days. Oh, no, yeah, no, we, don't, are, we know it was you. We, got, like, we got you on the security like camera. To, okay, I'd like to see that because I, I beg to differ with you. You are mistaken. And why are you drinking out of the pond anyways? It's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a... I, like, like we're just kind of concerned I, about your own health, really. I don't drink out of the pond. You, you're. Oh, yeah. oh no, no, we got you on the security cameras. You were Wait, using. Where can I? Where can I see this? We, you're drinking out of the pond with a bendy straw, and that's just not sanitary, you know. Just really. I just, have not done that. Who am I speaking with? Richard. Richard. Yeah. You're. You are very. What? Mistaken. Oh no, no! I saw the security camera myself. It was definitely you. Just. You know, really, for your own health and safety, you shouldn't no, be... No, you don't understand. I have not been out of my condo today, yesterday, I didn't say or it was the today. day before. I'm sorry? Well, I didn't say it was today. It was the other day. You were over there drinking out of a bin, drinking out of the pond no, with I the bendy straw. No, I You are... <sighs> and you were dropping ice cubes into the pond? Like, no, it's not a... I it, wasn't... The pond isn't a beverage, ma'am. You shouldn't be drinking the water. You, you, I don't know who you think that you are to tell me what I'm doing. You're mistaken. I am not the person that you say is doing that. Well, this is Janet, right? Over there on... Yes? Yeah, you're definitely the one. You were out there gulping down, just chugging the pond water, and just really... No! No, no, no! no. I have never done that. I would not do that. I... I'm a retired registered nurse. I know that's the thing. Like you, you with your health background, you should know that you know that that can't be like a safe thing to be doing. Is this some kind of hoax? Yeah, it's a hoax. I'm just joking with you. Why are you doing that? Uh, Vince wanted me to call and just ask if you could please not pass out those flyers around the neighborhood anymore. That's the real I reason. Haven't, I haven't passed out any flyers in the neighborhood. Uh, well, they have your name on it. Got your name and number. Who else would be passing out flyers with your name? Could, could I see one of those? Well, yeah. I, I mean, you've seen them before. They're they're your flyers. I have not seen them before. Listen, this is getting ridiculous. Like it's it's technically solicitation. You can't be you can't be passing out I flyers. I have not that... sent out anything to anybody. Well, no, I I understand that you're you're running like an Antifa headquarters in your condo, and that's fine. You know, we don't we can't tell you what to do in your own home, but. You can't be trying to recruit your neighbors this into... This is ridiculous. Anti you can't this be is ridiculous. I, I'm no. going to report you. No, Janet, I'm just asking you nicely. Just please don't try to recruit the neighbors into Antifa. That's all. I'm recording this conversation and I'm going to report you. Oh, what are you recording it with? You have like an old tape deck or something? If you call me again, Jan I'm calling the police. Janet, I just wanted to apologize. I got you mixed up. I got you completely mixed up. With oh, some oh. I'd like to see that in writing. See what in writing? My apology? Yes. Okay, I'll, you, I'll write you, you a letter. You have you have offended me grossly. Gross? No, I it, told you that it wasn't me, and you just kept insisting. What was gross about it? I wasn't being gross. I was just asking you not to... Look, it doesn't even matter. I got you completely mixed up with the neighbor, I and I just... I want you to send me something 
in writing that you okay. apologize for, okay. for what you have done. I'll send you a very nice handwritten letter. It better be on stationery too. Uh, well, come on, we can't afford we can't afford stationery oh, anymore. I, I, I'll I just, don't. I don't. Here's what I'll do. I don't care if it's I'll not write on, it. I'll write it on a little. On, I'll write it on a little coffee filter. That's what I do with my Patreon supporters. I send out these little coffee filters. Uh, hello, Susan. Uh, yes, this is her husband. Oh, hi, Jeff. It's Cody with T-Mobile. Okay. Yeah, hey, I just needed to let uh, you know that we're going to be making a little modification to this phone line. Um, and what it, what is the modification? Uh, we'll start tomorrow at 8 o'clock. There's going to be uh, just a little recording, just a little safety and liability recording added, added to the top of your calls. Okay. Yep. And this no, you've lost me. No, this this is so unusual for you to call me why wouldn't you email me or text me or do something else you're calling me to tell me we're a phone company sir i, we... I know sir but this is just really really odd you're um telling me there's a message that's going to be coming up tomorrow on my phone oh yeah well no it's not a message for you it's just anytime somebody calls in they're going to hear a little recording and then it'll ring through to your phone that's all and, and what is the recording going to say Oh, it's just a standard trigger recording. Um, it's just kind of a liability thing that we have to do. Just, you know, alerting any of your callers that they may be triggered by talking to you. What does what the triggered mean? Uh, it just means that they may be emotionally triggered by having, you know, just by having... Emotionally triggered by calling me. Yeah, it's just based off... Okay, Cody, we... Cody, I don't know who you are, but this is, this is asinine. Yeah. I've never heard of anything well, like this. Well, no, sir, I'm, and I'm just... Just an employee here. There's no reason to take that kind of attitude with me. I'm just supposed to let you know. That's all. It wasn't my decision. Oh, okay. You're getting on the okay. case of the working man here. I don't. I don't own uh, T-Mobile or anything. <laughs> now it's hilarious. Okay. Um, I've never heard of this. Well, no, I'm not trying to be um, funny. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to rationally explain this to you. I don't mean to trigger you or anything. It's just something that you know our company oh, it's has. Too to late. I'm already triggered, Cody. Oh, okay. Well, it's, I apologize. It's too late. Yeah. Hey, tell um, Susan to the, shut up in the background there. She's just running her mouth uselessly. Okay. And so what is your real name? Uh, that would be Cody. I already explained that no, to you. No, no, no. No, you didn't. Um, yeah. Because you don't tell me to tell my wife to shut up in the well, background. Well, no, she was just barking in the background there. I can't hear you when she's talking over you like uh -huh. that. It's rude. Okay. Yeah. So once again, you're you're incorrect and you're at fault. Well, no, I'm not this incorrect. Number never been, no, 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 no. This number has never been licensed or... I'm um, registered to, to Susan, so you asked for her first. Okay, well, I had her down line. as a primary, okay? Look, you don't need to tell me how to run my business here. It's just, you know, that's just that's oh, the way. Oh, so it's your business now. You just said well, no, you're just, you don't own T-Mobile. Well, no, I mean, now, like, you're telling me how to do my job. You're telling me how to business. do my job, and I'm just supposed to let you know. See, this this is exactly what I'm talking about. People who call you get yeah, triggered. This is, this is hilarious. It's what it is. Um, so you're who, triggering who, me who right now. Good. I'm so Being glad. a big boner jacket about the whole thing. Oh, good, good, good. Now we're name calling. Okay. Well, no, you're just good. being kind of an yeah. ass. That's all. No, 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 no. This is good. I want you to get it out. You want some therapy? Oh, yeah. are you are you a therapist? Um, do you do this all the time? What do you mean? Do you have to do this all day long? Call, and call people and call stupid. And tell them that you're gonna put, call stupid customers. Message? Yeah, that's that's my job. I call people all day long. Uh, yeah, oh, well, that's a sad existence. Um, or do you, oh, well, that's you a dick a thing to say. That's a dick thing to say. Not everyone can go to school and be a therapist like you, smart guy. <laughs> hey, hey uh, jackass. I, I'm Why not are you calling me a jackass? What kind of business would not provide a Oh, sample? I ain't providing you shit, motherfucker. Oh, okay. And All tell, right. and so tell Susan to, to zip it back there. Okay. All right, this, <laughs> so whoever you are, it's, it's fantastic, it's but Cody. you've wasted a good five, seven minutes of my time. Okay, well, hang up the fucking and, phone uh, then. Oh, watch your mouth. Does your mom? Oh, I, ain't you I ain't watching shit. Oh, my mom cusses worse than I do. You out of here. Swears like a sailor, that woman. <laughs> okay, well, you. Look, I got to have the phone. I got a bunch of other calls to make. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've Can got be. insults and drop F-bombs on, on other people. Good, uh, no, good. I didn't. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. Uh, they're not F-bombs. Being adults, to say the whole word. It's okay to say fuck. No, it's not going to hurt I you. I choose not to use that language because I have intelligence and I can speak without using that. 
uh, but apparently you can't. So once again, we'll Mr. go back to Mr. Smarty Pants the Therapist doesn't use the fuck word. <laughs> okay. Now, now you're just lowering my my intelligence by staying on the line with you. So if Thanks, I keep Cody, have a good night. God bless. Hello, Laura. Yes, I'm here. Oh, hey, Laura. It's Cody with the Condo Association. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you for a second there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just needed to let you know there's going to be a crew coming by your house tomorrow morning or by your condo. Okay. And they're going to be, they're just going to be bringing in some furniture just, you know, to dress up your apart, uh, dress up your condo for the showings. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you know, for the, for the showings, for the prospective buyers that we're having coming by next week. Yeah, Vince wanted me to let you know, we're, we hired an interior decorator and he's going to, and they're going to, you know, just kind of redecorate your, your condo, swap out your furniture and everything. Yeah, I'm not selling my condo. Oh, I know. I know you're not. We're just using yours as the model because we've got some that are going up for sale. And so, oh, no. So, yeah, no, we're, just, no. we're, just, we're just redecorating yours with, you know, some nice furniture and everything. They're going to do, uh, some, they're gonna do some. No, 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 no. I, I, no. I own that condo. Nobody's going in and changing furniture. What the heck are you talking about? I know you own it. It's just temporary. It's just tempor temporarily we're going to be no. put. Because you have kind of, no. you know, kind of crappy furniture. So we're going to just make it look all nice and everything. Put in some classy. Uh, nope. Who is it? Hello, Vivian. <clears throat> Who's calling? It's Richard with the Condo Association. Go on. Oh, well, okay. You didn't say anything. That was kind of weird. I was just calling because, you know, Janet over there on... She was just kind of hoping that you could please stop trying to steal her identity online. <laughs> You're so funny, Richard. What's your social security number? Mine? That's, uh -huh. not, you, that's illegal, ma'am. You can't be asking me my social security... No, that's okay. What is it? Why do you need my social security number? You're going to try to steal my because identity? Because you're, you're an idiot. What? That doesn't mean you can steal my identity. Yes, it does. If you're an idiot, I can. So what is it, well, stupid? If I'm, if I'm an idiot, don't call me stupid. If Come I'm, on, stupid. What's your social security number? If I'm an idiot, why would you want my identity? Come on, ignorant. Like, I'm not, I'm not worth anything. Hey, if I'm, what? Are you a motherfucker? Oh, Janet, come on. Are you? Why would you call me that? That's horrible. Are you a motherfucker? No, Vivian. Oh, yes. I know who you are. You're Richard the motherfucker. That's horrible, Angel. Oh, I, I know. Why do you do that? You're the one that's trying Why to... Why do you do that? Do what? You're the one that called Let's me... Let's see. You fuck your mother and you suck your dad. Is that what you said? Well, so what? Don't wow, be... Wow. It's 2000... You are really a piece of work. It's 2022. Are you black or what color are you? Oh, come on. Don't be racist. Don't... Oh, come on now, Richard. Well, Come what? on, Richard! Yes, Vivian. What color are you, Richard? I'm purple. Oh, are you? It's what's on the inside. No, you're green! It's, no, you're green! It's what's on the inside that matters, Vivian. Don't you know that? You don't have any inside, stupid. Find a job. I have a job. Find a job. There's Go to McDonald's, and uh, you can work there for 20 bucks an hour. Really? 20 bucks? Find a job. They pay 20 bucks an hour now? Find a job. Don't be so... Uh, such well, a loser. Well, that's good. They need to pay their workers more. Don't be such a loser, Richard. Everybody has the right find to, a job. to a living wage. And quit fucking your mother and sucking your dad. No, it's 2022. I can do you what I want. Fucker. Oh, come on. You can't say that oh, kind of word, Vivian. Oh, fucker, Richard. Oh, you're just... You know you are. You're just being a hateful piece of you shit You know now. you are, Richard. You know you are, Richard. You know you're a fucker. Well... I can tell you are. I can tell by the, your voice. You are just a worthless piece of shit. Yeah, but at least I'm not a racist And your mom and dad had you. Yeah? They would be so ashamed of you. You're embarrassing yourself Don't right you now. Don't you wish they would know who you, that you are doing this? This is, this is just a silly... You should be so ashamed of yourself. This is just a silly you prank call. Why do you ask... You should go stick your head in the snow. Why hey, do you... do you have a gun? No, I don't have a gun. You should go get one and shoot yourself. You want me to kill myself? Yeah. Why? That'd be good. It's just a prank call, though. Why would you want That'd me to good, kill Richard. myself? Go shoot yourself. Why do you want me to kill myself? Oh, come on do you really, now. Do you really mean that? Because you might have some money in the bank or something. Vivian, do you really so mean? I can get that. Do you really mean? What, what is it? Do you say it is? Uh, okay, it's. Come on, Richard. It, what is it? it? I'm not giving you my come social on, security. Come on, Richard. No, you're going to steal Richard. my. Richard. Do you know what Richard stands for? Dick. Yeah, that's that's, that's you know. short for dick. 
Yeah, it sure is. Dick? Yep. Anyways, do oh, you, dick? you're just kind of embarrassing That's yourself. That's why they now, named right? you Dick. Dick? They what named name Dick. They he looks like a dick. They named me after Richard ooh, Dawson. He'll be, he'll be sucking on my dick. You know that's the, what Daddy said. Oh, you have a dick. So you are a dick sucker, cock sucker, motherfucker, dicker. Oh, here you go with the racist stuff again. Do you want me to suck your dick? Ah, we can make a chicken muck. Do I want you to what? Do, I, do you want me to suck your dick? Uh, oh, now listen to you. Well, no, I just you said something about that your, is a nasty thing for you to say, Richard. No, now, you what was your boy, your mom and daddy gonna say? They'll probably disown uh, me, I guess. You I better. Oh, 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 oh! They're gonna be so upset with you. What? You know my mom and dad? So upset. Did you know that my mom? She's probably named already me? disowned you. Did you know you. that they got my she name? She probably wouldn't look at you if you were drowning in this. Okay, that was, wow, that was really intense. I can't tell if she knew it was a prank call. I mean, I didn't even get anywhere with the premise, but holy crap, that lady was nuts. And you're probably wondering what the bleeps were. This is a prank call podcast. What the hell am I doing censoring bad language? Well, it was more than just language. It was hateful, vile bullshit. And this is a comedy show. There's no room for that kind of garbage on my show. Anyway, I've got to wrap this up. A uh, quick thank you to I Regret Jumping for the advice about this rash on my butt. Oh, and happy birthday, Craig. He's turning 17 today, almost legal. Thank you, everyone, for listening. I'll be doing boner sods for the next several weeks, but I'll be back with episode 48 in late February. Bye. You're not a genuine McMichael.